just get you guys warmed up so you can give yourself some room. Step back for me. Let's just get those heart rates up. All right, so we're gonna go, make sure you've got enough room around you, clear some space, so we don't trip over anything. All right, let's go star jumps on the spot. Chest swings up and up. And then cross bodies wrap around. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Okay, lunge is going forward. You're going to alternate the lunge. So we do some dynamic stretching first. We're going to mobilize and activate the muscles. Mobilize the joints, activate the muscles to support them. There's a lunge rotate. All right, let's practice some of the moves we're going to be doing. So let's go practice our Jefferson squat. So Jefferson squat, you can have a nice L shape with the foot or J shape. So one foot's facing forward, the other foot's facing uh, away from you. We're going to go to a nice deep squat there. So make sure the legs take us down. Okay, you can toss it nice and upright. And take it down, hold it there. Three, two, one, and switch on the side. Let's get nice and low. Make sure this knee is still driving out towards the small toes. Where the weight's going to be down the middle. Hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Split squat. So we're going from there. So in the workout, we're going to do an elevator to one. So your back foot will be elevated. <clears throat> to increase our range. Bottom hold. Three, two, one. Switch on the side. So we just like using the warm-up to practice the movements we're going to be doing. Take it down, hold it. Three, two, one. Okay, squats in the spot. Just loosen up, get nice and low. Heels up, calf raise. Heels up. Sorry, heels up, squat. And then hold the bottom, you're going to calf raise at the bottom. So the calf raise is five, four, three, two, one. I want you to stand on your fingers, like there's a tuck of fingers in your toes. So we're going to go frog squat hold. Okay, so when I tell you, we're going to go from there. So you should be nice and straight at the back. If your back's nice and straight, you're going to bring those hips up, you're going to pull as hard as we can. So pull yourself down, pull your hips up, hold it there. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull yourself down, lower into your squat. We're going to go again, three, two, one, pull. Five, four, three, two, one. One, and check it out. Right, we're going to practice that stiff legged deadlift. Okay? So we're going to squat down. So we're going to squat down, hands up your toes. Bring your hips up. So stretch your hemis. And then we're going to pull through the toe squats. So we're going to hinge back. Low. Pull tight. Pull through. Nice. Low. Pull tight. Bring it through. Last one. Let's take it down. Get low there. Get low. Right, we're just going to get into the hips now, so on your hands and knees, let's go cats and dogs, hands and knees, cats and dogs. Let's get some movement going through the spine, nice deep breath in, exhale up. Let's go scapula push-ups, rotations, reach underneath, open up. Fire hydrants, just go to the hips. Knee moves away from the body. Kick back into the glutes. Circle forward, rotation forward, rotation back. And then we're gonna rock back into it. Stretch all down in the thigh. Nice, same side, same sequence on the side. So move away from the body. Kick back into those glutes. Circle forward. Circle back. And then rock back into it. All down in your thigh. Three, two, one. Onto your back, let's go into your glutes, so glute bridges. So in the workout, we're gonna, have, we're gonna, we're gonna have an elevated glute bridge. So your back will be elevated. On your sofa, on a bench. 
then they get this massive load, so you create a deficit, so we get a bit more of a stretch to the glutes. Right, hold the top position for me, squeeze the pulse of these out, five, four, three, two, one, so go single leg glute bridge hold, so cross your foot over, hold it there, three, two, one, switch, other side, hold it, three, two, one, dead bugs, let's go, kick it out, four, three, two, one, and nice, here, pull overs, it's going to reach the rock behind you, pull over, squeeze your chest, the arms nice and straight on your head, so reach back, so one of the movements in your workout is going to be a lat stretch hold. So we're going to draw back, so your hands are going to be just off the floor. I want you to draw your elbow, shoulder blades in, and allow this lat to stretch. Obviously, once you're going to have the kettlebell in your hands, although don't bell, it's going to add extra load, and you're ready for that stretch in the lat. Okay, just practice your chest presses. So there, draw the elbow down. From there, it's a press, and then into a fly. So we're going to go one press, one fly. So we're just practicing the movements, we're learning the patterns. Other side, so one press, one flight. So it's down, and the flight. So pressing is your elbows in line with the hand. When you're doing a flight, you're going to stretch all through the armpit, armpit, take the hand away from the chest, or take the bicep away from the chest. So you have a nice stretch. All right, onto your stomach, so let's go into back extensions. Just activate the posterior chain. So hands on your head. Let's go into squeeze the glutes, back extension. Two, hold it there. Three, two, one. Onto your knees. Let's go push ups. So pull those hands in together. Squeeze the top. All right, bottom position. Hold it there. Pull those hands in. Hold it. Five. Four, three, two, one, plank rows. So hands to the hips, get it back nice and straight, brace the abs, T spine rotations, open up. To downward dogs, push your hips up nice and high, stretch the shoulders, drop back down towards the middle, nice control. Three, two, top position, hold it there. Let's go pike press, and then a dive bomb. Five, four, two, and down, nice. Right, onto your knees, chest swings open up. Pull back with the shoulder blades. Let's open up the chest. We take it across, at the side, and then cross it over. Right, elbows tucked in, palms facing up, draw the shoulder blades back, lock them in. Scap openers, swing it open, keep those elbows tucked in. Make a nice tight grip with the hands and the lateral raises. Hold that top position, internal, external rotation. And then book opens, nice big reach to the top. Again, pulling from the shoulder blades, not the hands. And we're going to practice those front raises. Front raise. Three, two, one, and down. Okay, we're good to go. Get your weights ready. Grab a quick drink of water before we start to number one. We're going to go single arm hammer press. So remember, we've got a minute working, 30 second recovery. We've got four sets. So we're going to do two sets on each side. So we two side, two sets right, two sets left. First one we're going for is hammer press. Single arm hammer press. So you can use your dumbbells, you can use kettlebells, or a barbell if you have a barbell. Get ready to go. So we're gonna start like this, either you're standing or kneeling. So hammer press from there, and we're loading to the top there, okay? So you wanna keep the emphasis on the front part, on the front part of that shoulder, okay? So it's almost like a rack position with your barbell. So we're holding it there. We're loading it there. So we're always going to, when you're going up, obviously we're loading the front delt and upper trunk. We're coming down, 
we can use the biceps and lats to control it down, okay? So obviously, because we're working single sides now, unilaterally, there's gonna be the urge to laterally flex the spine, but we need to resist the urge. So I want you to watch yourselves, making sure we're keeping the shoulders nice and level, and we don't wanna move with it, yeah? So we don't wanna give it to that, that flexion, okay, that lateral flexion, okay? So that's where it's gonna make it harder. That's why it's called the strength core class, because we're gonna add loads of distraction to the core, we we'll make it to make body work a lot harder, okay? As soon as you add uneven load, the body has to work a lot, lot harder, okay? All right, we ready? Load it up. We're starting in three. First set, two, one, let's go. So we've got a 40 seconds hammer press. And we're gonna do a stupid set with a lateral raise hold. A lateral raise hold can be done singly. If you have a low weight, or you can use a band, or you can just do body weight. Control down. Nice. Keep us elbows forward, yeah? Elbows forward. So hammer. That's it. It's gonna make it a lot more harder. Controlling down. Let's go last rep. Lateral raise hold. Let's go, bring it up. You're gonna hold it there, draw the shoulder blades back. So single or double. So if you guys have a single plate, you can use a single plate, guys. You can use one plate each. Four, hold it. Three, two, one, and down. Nice, very good. So Rosie, you guys can use a plate there if you want to, yeah? You need to have a plate. So use one plate, so you drop the weight, and then use a small plate or a band. Okay, ready? Alright, we've got 15 seconds rest, we go again on the side. Again, kneeling or standing. Obviously when you're kneeling, there's gonna be a lot less lot less compensation going on. Obviously when you're standing, there's the urge to sort of bounce into it and use momentum, okay? So if you're kneeling or, or on our knees, look, it's a less <laughs> urge to do that. Alright, let's go. Minus control. Looking good. We've got 10 seconds before we lateral hold. Three, two, one, lateral hold, let's go. Draw the shoulder base back, <coughs> hold it there. Shoulders back, shoulders back, 10 seconds. <coughs> Four, three, two, one, and down, nice. Okay, that's one set each side, one more set each side. So switch it back. So like I said before, if you don't have two pieces of equipment, you can use single. So either the same weight or you regress the weight to any lighter, yeah? So you can use a plate, you can use a dumbbell, a lighter kettlebell, anything like that, okay? Even if you have to, you can go into body weight, you can do shoulder rolls, backwards and forwards, okay? There's always something you can do. All right, ready? Three, two, one, second set, let's go. Very good. Halfway through your set, you're aiming for about 12 to 15 reps. So you're not going for loads of reps, controlling the tempo. Keep the muscle under tension all the way through. 10 seconds. Last rep. Two, one, let's raise this, let's go. Up, draw the shoulders back, hold it. Single row double. That's good guys, come on. Draw the shoulder blades back, pinch it back, pinch it back. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Very good. Whew. Okay, one more set, left side. One more set, other side. So you can feel the shoulders working big time already. Right, this is our last set on this side. We're going back after this. 
We've got dead stop rows, and then your meadow swings. I'll show you in a sec, okay? All right, ready? Let's go, pick it up. Lock it in. Two, one, let's go. Nice, come on guys. More than halfway. 10 seconds of work. Control down. Let's go, one more rep, one more rep. And let's go, natural raise. Shoulder blades back, draw back, up and all. Keep your hands shoulder height, you're lifting from the delts, not your hands. Shoulders back, pinch them back, pinch them back. Three, two, one, and down. Very good, okay. Dead stop rows. So you're going single arm dumbbell, kettlebell from the floor. So I want you to get into a nice box position, okay? So we're gonna sit low to the floor. You're gonna use your hands like this. You're gonna create a brace right there. One hand on your elbow, other hand bracing there. Back's nice and straight. And we're going from there, single arm row. But always to the floor, okay? And then meta swing, so we're going there. With your dumbbells or your bands. You swing it up in there. First set, three, two, one, let's go. So you're pulling from the floor. Always go down to the floor, dead stop. I want a nice flat back position. Make sure the back's nice and straight. So we pull into extension, yeah? Don't want to see your back flex. 20 seconds. Flat back. Wrap the elbow around your spine. 10 seconds. From the floor. Three, two, one, let's go meadows, band or dumbbells, chest down, pull back with the shoulder blades, rear delts, rear delts, keep going until you hit the beat, load them up, come on, and down, Woo. very good, so on those meadows, you need to make sure it's the rear delts thing to work, yeah? So I'm not swinging with my hands, I feel my shoulder blades, and I'm retracting my shoulder blades. So I'm pulling my shoulder blades back together. As I do that, my hands will come up automatically. Okay, other side, 10 seconds. Get ready. Dead stop rows. Nice wide stance, back straight. On the beat, let's go. From the floor, from the floor. going to the back, okay, the lats and the rear delts, you're doing good, okay, 15 seconds, we're back to the other side, so make sure those meadows, if you've got them right, make sure you feel the back of the shoulders pulling, okay, remember the movement doesn't come from your hands, it comes from the delts, ready, three, two, one, we're back in, let's go, last set, the side, from the floor, On a dead stop, no momentum. No momentum. Uh, 
Very good, come on. We've got 10 seconds on the clock. Last rep. And down. Okay, meta swings. Let's go. Come on, guys. Red out. All the red out. And down. Nice. Very good. All right, one more set, 20 seconds we go. Yeah, if you did there, Rosie, you got it? That's good, okay. Yeah, that's it there, that's it there. Always look down, look straight to the floor, yeah? Keep your heads down. All right, ready. Back in five, four, three, two, one, let's go. From the floor. Come on. Come on, five. Four. Three, two, last rep. Let's go meta swings. Chest back. Let's go. Swing, 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 swing. Keep going. Keep going. Till you hear the beep. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And down. Very good. Well done. All right, 30 second breather. We want to the last one. That's right, next one. So we got on the backs now, single arm press into a fly. Single arm chest press to fly on your backs. We're going into it. All right, All right single arm press. We can super step with the lat hold on this one, yeah? All right, so we go there, press. One press. And then one flight. That's all right. One press, one fly, press, it's a fly, halfway, ten seconds, we're going to the lat stretch hold, so it's going to be a pullover position behind the head, you're going to hold that stretch in your lat. Last one, just go to that stretch hold. Take it behind your hip. So your hands are just off the floor. Another stretch. Hold it. And down. Very good, okay? So you should have felt that one messy one little arch in your back. When you're doing that once, you're going to put an arch. Remember your hands are just off the floor, okay? So you're holding the stretch in the left. Okay, other side, let's go. Get ready. 10 seconds, one press to fly. Ready, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. It's a fly. One press. Very good, come on, we're almost halfway. Come on, ten seconds. Five, four, three. So let's go to that hold, take it by the hip, hold that stretch. So just off the floor. Arms nice and straight, as straight as possible. 
Keep it there. Uh, and uh, very good. So you feel this stretch big time in those lats, okay? Alright, go back to the other side. Fifteen seconds we go again. One press to fly. <coughs> Ten seconds, get ready. Four, three, two, one, let's go, press, fly, press, fly, come on. Seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Leg stretch. Take by the hip. Let's go. Twenty seconds. As straight as possible. From your hands off the floor. Just off the floor. Arms straight. Love the lats to stretch. Very good. All right, one more set. Last set, last set. We're ready. Ten seconds. And then we're into lateral raises and biceps. After this. All right, load it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One press to fly. Looking good, come on, ten seconds. Stretch, let's go, behind the head. Roll that stretch to the left. So we're just off the floor. Squeeze his hands together. Arms straight as possible. Come on. Two, one, and down. Very good. Whew. Okay, 40 seconds of lateral raises, banded. Banded or butt with dumbbells. If you don't have bands or dumbbells, you're just gonna do a body weight option, okay? And then we're gonna do a bicep curl hold. Bicep curl hold. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go, lateral raise. Nice control. Keep your shoulder blades back for me. Shoulder blades back. Make sure we're loading the medial delt. So lifting from the shoulder, not your hands. Fifteen seconds. Very good, come on guys. Five, four, three, two, bicep hold. Let's go, 20 seconds, keep it there. Elbows tucked in, shoulders back. So we're loading from there. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Squeeze your hands together. Hold that squeeze in the bicep. We're going two hands. And down, nice. Okay, now we've got to superset that with front raises. So front raise with a tricep extension hold behind the head, okay? Front raise with tricep extension hold. And we got two sets in each, yeah? Alright, get your weights ready. Ok, 
Okay, <clears throat> front raises. Shoulders back. Three, two, one. We're going to go into a hammer, hammer press front raise. Squeeze the chest to top. Nice, come on. Ten seconds, guys, come on. Squeeze the top. Five, four, three, two, try some extension. Let's go. Take it behind the head. Hold that stretch. Oh, we're stuck in. Hold the stretch, hold the stretch. Drop it low on the head, drop it low, drop it low. Drop it down. That's it, squeeze your hand, elbows together. So hug your head with your elbows. Squeeze your biceps. And then you finish on the contraction. <laughs> Top. Nice. Very good. Okay, so one more set each. Last set of laterals, last set of front. Last two sets this upper body workout and then we're going to lower okay ready 10 seconds all right lateral raises draw the shoulder blades back shoulder blades back all right so make sure we're loading the medial delts let's go control down nice keep your shoulders back for me shoulders back Good guys, come on. Nice, keep going. Give me 10 seconds. Then we've got bicep holds. Two, one, bicep hold. Let's go. Up, squeeze. Squeeze those biceps. Hold it slightly away so we've got maximum tension. 10 seconds. Last five seconds, go pump. Let's go pump, rep, rep, rep. Four, three, two, and down. <laughs> Very good. Right, last set, front raise. Into tricep extension, hold. 20 second breather. Last set, yeah, last set. Okay, 10 seconds, you ready? Shoulder blades back, shoulder blades back. Squeeze those glutes, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Front raise, hammer grip. Twenty seconds. Keep going, keep going, come on. Eight seconds. Five, three, two, one, down. Extensions, go. Load it up. Squeeze that bicep, come on. Hug the head with the elbows. Squeeze tight, 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 tight. Five seconds, come on. Four, three, two, one, and that's up, nice. Whew. Okay, you've got 90 seconds recovery. Get yourself set up, you're gonna need your bench or your sofa or something like that for this one to win elevated squats to start. Get yourself set up quick. Okay, so for number one, quickly watch me. So elevated lunge, or we'll split squat. We're gonna be there. We're gonna be nice and low there. Okay, so one foot's up. So it'll be 20, uh, 40 seconds working, then a 20 second low hold, okay? So we've got four sets on that one set side. You've got your Jefferson squat, single arm. So we'll be practicing your warm up. We've got that J stance, dumbbells in the middle. We're getting nice and low. 
40 seconds up and down, 20 second hold the bottom. Then we've got a uh, stiff legged deadlift. Again, with your dumbbells or your barbell, or your kettlebell. So when you get low, pull tight, we bring it through a stiff legged deadlift. And then we're going to go into those frog toe holds. The one we practiced in the warm up as well. Those ones putting it through for 20 seconds. Then we've got glute bridge deficits on your bench again. So halfway in your sofa. So those ones there. And then the single leg glute bridge hold. And then the last one, we're going to get into your calf raise, the standing calf raise with the heel raise calf raise hold. Okay? Low squat hold. All right, great. Grab some water quick. So we're going to start with your split lunges. Okay? So if you can't do the elevated version, you just do a normal static lunge. One foot forward, one foot back. So this one's actually called a split squat, okay? So it's the same, it's the same thing as, as doing a normal single leg squat. We're doing a, a squat, a normal squat, we're gonna go single leg side. So we're loading one leg at a time, okay? So you can use one dumbbell or two dumbbells if you're brave enough. Or you just go body weight, okay? You can know. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. And we'll be allowed to adjust position if it doesn't feel right, yeah? Also feel free to add something to help you balance. If you struggle with balance, you can use a chair or anything like that to help you balance. If you do struggle with balance and lunges, looking good. Get nice and low into it, squeeze the top. 10 seconds. Okay, take it down, hold it for 20. This is gonna hurt. Keep it there. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Ooh. Yeah, it's killer. All right, that's what I said. Other side, get ready. So remember, on the tempo rounds, on the 40 second round, we went slow, controlled. We're going time and attention. We want depth, we want range. And then a 20 second hold. We're pushing the heel to the floor, squeezing that quad, make sure the knees track out. So it's more so. Ready? Five, four. On the beat. Let's go, other side. Very good. Nice guys, go on. We're halfway. Ten seconds and we hold. So you get 20 second breather, one more set on the side we started on. One more set inside, one more set inside. 10 seconds we go, ready. Load them up. Five, four, get back in position. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen seconds. Last rip and hold it. 
Hold it there, hold it there. Come on, 15 seconds. Set. Four, three, two, one, up. Very good. Hold that. 20 seconds. At the side. Because the legs should be on fire. That's what we want. Alright, 10 seconds, get ready. 10 seconds, get ready, guys. The last set on the other side. Let's go. Nice control, nice control. work and then we hold that contraction at the bottom one more time and down hold keep it there eight seconds eight seconds stay strong come on Very good, okay. Uh, single arm Jepson squat. So I want you to use the heaviest weight you have. Heaviest weight you have lying around. So go J-shape with the feet. One foot forward, one foot facing away. So run your 180 degrees. We're using the legs to go down, yeah? This is a nice deep squat, okay? One set each side, low hold for 20. Let's go, go. Get low into it, low into it. I want that dumbbell to keep up to the floor. That's how low I want you to go. We set all the way down. Leg suck is down without flexing the spine. You've got to keep the also torso nice and up and right. Upright. And you squeeze the top. Get low into it. 10 seconds. Come on. Okay, low, just with the floor, hold it, hold it there, shoulders back, don't flex your spine, sit into the quads, sit low into it, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Other side, we switch. So you create that J shape at the other side now. Use the other hand. Remember it's the legs that take you down, yeah? We squat all the way nice and low, torso nice and upright. Making sure you're looking straight ahead. No flexion in your spine. Okay? Ready? Three, two. Let's go. Nice, come on. So low into it, up. Squeeze. Come on, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Looking good, guys, come on. Give me 10. Down, hold the 20. Hold it there, legs take you down, backs upright. Sit nice and upright, shoulders up, shoulders level, look straight ahead. Open those knees up, push those knees out. Four, kettlebells off the floor. Three, two, one, and down. Other side. Don't want to see those kettlebells on the floor, okay? We keep maximum tension. 
Maximum tension. Push those knees out. Make sure those knees are tracking towards the small toes. Don't want to see them collapsing in. Torso nice and upright. Legs take us down. Ready. Get that J-shape going. Hips facing forward. Three, two, one. Let's go. Very good guys, come on. Breathe in the way down, breathe in. Hold it. And then exhale. Oh yeah. Nice, come on. Exhale up. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, come on. Looking good. Five, four, three, two, lower hold, open those knees up. Shoulders back, head up, back straight. Keep the dumbbell, the kettlebell up. 10 seconds. Knees open, knees open. Squeeze those quads. Three, two, one. Down. Very good. On the side, get ready. 20 seconds. Looking good guys, looking good. This is our last set in the side, yeah? Last set. And then we've got deadlifts after this. Ready? Five, four, J shape, got it? Three, breathe in. Two, legs take us down. Let's go. Legs take you down, legs take us down, legs take us down. Look. Boom, squeeze the top. Knees open. I want you all the way down, all the way down. We're going arse to grass. I want your hips lower than your knees. Get down. Oof. Oof. 10 seconds. Come on. Get it torso upright, get it low into it, guys. Sit low into it. Ready, last one, down. Hold it. Come on, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, hold it there. Keep it there, you're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Whew. Okay, stiff legged deadlifts. Dumbbell, kettlebell, so we're going there. Feet in line with the hips, are slightly wider. So we're gonna squat down, hips go up, I'm gonna pull through, okay? So if you want to, you can load it up with two dumbbells or two kettlebells and then we've got frog squat hold on this one, frog squat hold. Okay, you ready? So we squat down, squat, back straight, hips up, pull through with the hamstrings. Squat, pull through. Back straight and then pull through. That's nice, 15 seconds. And down, frog squat, toe hold, get low, let's go pull. Pull those hamstrings, pull the hamstrings. Back straight, keep that back straight, keep the back straight. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Very good. Very good. All right, 20 breathe. We go again. All right, so you know, step like a deadlift, similar to your RDL. We're get lower to the floor. We're going all the way down. A little bit more bend your knees. But remember, it's still a hinge position, okay? So we need to hinge the hip. Five, four, three, two, we hinge. Let's go, pull. Wow. Oof. 
Very good. Nice guys, come on. You give us the legs nice and stiff. This is more hamstring dominant. Five, four, three, two, frog squat, toe hold. Get low into it, sit low. From there, back straight, let's go. Pull, hamstrings up. Hips up high, hips up high. Shoulders back. Stretch those hamstrings. Keep it there, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Down. Very good. Awesome stuff. All right, 15 seconds. Ready, five. Four, third set. Two, let's go. Nice right, guys, come on. It's looking good. Come on. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, let's get low into front squat. Let's go hips up, stretch those hemis. Keep the back straight, back straight. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Good job. We're almost there guys, almost there. After this set, we've got four sets left, we're done. Not long, not long. All right, ready, last set. Stiff leg, dead left. Ready. Come on. Our shoulders back. Twenty seconds. Come on. Let's go front squat, tuck it in, low, let's go hips up, stretch the hamstring, pull tight, 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 Whoa. come on, five, four, three, two, one, and down, okay, glute bridges, really, on your sofas, we're going deficit bridge, so want your back supported, Cross your arms to your chest. And we're gonna go there for 20 seconds, single leg hold. Okay, you ready? Load it up with dumbbells, kettlebells. And we just go body weight. Okay, five, four, lower back supported. Three, two, one, let's go low, up and squeeze. Want your chin tucked in. Keep his chins tucked in. When you go up, don't drop your head. Don't push your head back. Keep your chin tucked into your chest. Remember the hips coming up. Tilt the pelvis around towards you. Nice stretch. Boom, squeeze. Nice, come on. 10 seconds, we go single leg hold. Let's go right leg first. We go right leg first. Five, four, three, Two, up, hold, single leg, hold that squeeze, right leg up first, 
The left leg's on the floor. Ah. Squeeze that glute to the top. 10 seconds, hold it. Make sure the glute's holding, not the back. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Whew. Okay, calf raises, single leg. Single leg calf raises. You're gonna load this one and do body weight. So you can use a wall, you can use a friend, whatever you have, please do. You go on balance, cross your foot over like this. So one foot's there. And we calf raising, yeah? You ready? Five. Cross your foot over. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, come on. Squeeze that calf to the top. Make sure you're pushing up on the big toe. Normally your body weight's enough in this one. Squeeze the top, come on. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, heel raise, squat hold. So drop low to the floor, heels up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold that squat, right onto your big toes. Hold it there, hold it there. Squeeze those cars. Big toe, come on, push down. Four, three, two, one, and down. Okay, back to your group bridges. Come on, two steps away. Two steps away. Okay, so we're loading this one again. Deficit glute bridge. And there's someone across the left foot over. So right foot's on the floor. Ready, chin sucked in. Lifting from the glutes, yeah? Two, one, let's go. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the glutes. Come on, guys. Make sure those knees are tracking out. Track these knees out. Push the knees away from each other. We don't want the knees collapsing in. Stretch. Up. Boom. Come on. Knees up. 10 seconds. Last one. Let's go. Left foot up. Right foot's on the floor. Squeeze that right glute now. Load it up. 15 seconds. Come on. 10, 10, 10, 10. Squeeze. Ah. Five. Four hips up. Push. Three. Two. One. And down. Very good. Okay, calf raises. What's it? Other leg. And we've got a low heel raise foot hold. We're going 15. I run across the foot over. We need to push to the big toe, yeah? Big toe pushing to the floor. Ready? Three, two, one. And right up onto the big toe. Going 20 seconds. Looking good, come on. 10 seconds, guys. Right up, squeeze that cough. Two, one, down. Low squat, hold. Heel raise squat. Let's go, squeeze those calves. Squeeze those calves. Big toes, push the big toes into the floor. Contract, contract, contract. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and down. Whew. Awesome work, guys. Very well done. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to stretch, cool down. Awesome stuff, well done.